YouTube, what's up, man? Nothing special. Um, just want to talk a little bit of Lions. Been keeping up with the training camp still. Um, plan on participating tomorrow morning or Thursday morning. Uh, definitely plan on going back and uh, watching the boys at work, uh, especially with the pads on. Uh, a couple of updates as far as the injuries updates. Uh, Austin Bryan uh, ended up getting hurt by uh, TJ Hawkinson uh, blocking him. Um, so I think it was a shoulder injury. Um, and Deshaun Hand went down to um, both day to day. Nothing serious. Uh, nothing to get flustered about. Um, but yeah, those two went down. I think it's only about four out of the. 14 defensive linemen that we got on the roster. There's only about four of them uh, that's practicing in training camp today. So uh, you're going to see a lot of no names out there. Uh, they signed somebody this morning. I don't even remember the dude's name. They just, you know, signed somebody to fill in and to be able to practice with. Um, but as far as uh, players to watch, uh, obviously Hawkinson. I know y'all have been seeing the news about him and you know how he's been looking at training camp. He's been looking really, really good. Um, probably, uh, well, it's not probably. Uh, yesterday I seen a tweet that he uh, he's caught the most passes out of receivers and tight ends during training camp. Um, so that's encouraging to hear, obviously. Um, you know, somewhat exciting because it is just training camp still. Uh, but, yeah. All the arrows point up when it comes to T.J. Hoggison and Jelani Tavai. Um, man, still getting them good report outs on, on Tavai, man. Uh, when I was there, I absolutely enjoyed what I seen from Tavai. Um, but, you know, just reading the reports that's out there, man, uh, Tavai also is balling. <laughs> So for our first and second round pick, that is absolutely great news. Um, absolutely want to hear about them doing well, first and foremost, when it comes to rookies. Um, but, you know, uh, preseason, man, this is going to be a, uh, something special, man, because you got a lot of guys that's going to be fighting, a lot of talented young guys as far as the rookie class and free agent signings go. Uh I was reading yesterday that we did sign a, um, a Wayne State product. Um, we signed a guy from Wayne State, man. Uh, he wants to follow in the same shoes as Joy Bell. Uh, can't quite recall his name right now, so I don't, I'm just gonna say he's from Wayne State, so you can research that. But uh, like I said, it's just general Lions talk, man. Um, but yeah. Wanted to go to training camp this morning, man, but had some things to do. Don't know if y'all can see him back there. But, yeah, I had to do some grocery shopping. <laughs> I'm getting ready to be off of work uh, for about four or five days this week. Anniversary is tomorrow, July 31st. Um, shout out to my wifey, man. Nine years marriage, 15 years together. Yeah, I got married when I was 24. <laughs> it's really young, man. Um, but yeah, man, nine years. It's been a long time, man. Um, but it, it's went like that. So shout out to to you, Bay. Um, but yeah, gonna be off work, man. So we're definitely gonna have some some time to partake in some some training camp, man. So um, I definitely be doing some more videos like I did with the first one. I know a lot of y'all enjoyed that, and I appreciate all the comments. Shout out to uh, There Goes Mommy, man. Appreciate the, um, you know, the, the love that you was giving me and Man Beast for doing some videos while we was out there. I wish you was uh, in Michigan, man, where we all can meet up. I want to try to catch some people there at the same time. I'm going to be sending out some messages to see who can probably wiggle out some time to meet me there uh, either tomorrow morning or Thursday morning. Um you know, so we can we can do something special and have some fun, man. Um, it's definitely a, a great experience. So, um, you know, shout out to the young man I just seen at Kroger's too. You probably gonna watch this video, but shout out to you, Chief. Second time I've seen you, seen me at my job, and you seen me at Kroger. So obviously we live close. <laughs> um, 
But as far as uh, you know, the Lions go, man, Matt Patricia, I've been watching him on Periscope every morning, man. And uh been giving some guys some praise. Um, you know, he ain't gonna say too much, but yeah, as far as the young guys that we got on the team, man, definitely hearing good things about them. The veterans on the team like Amadola, you're hearing good things about uh, you know, he's been making some some crazy catches too, man. So um but yeah, I definitely want to get back to training camp so I can keep my eye on the corners. Um, with the defensive line, I want to say this. Um, you know, a lot of us out there, we like, man, we still need to go get at least another corner. I don't trust Tabor. I don't trust, you know, who we have. And listen, I'm going to say one thing. Um, your secondary, your secondary is as good as your front four is on defense. If you got that nasty front four creating pressure, it's going to make your secondary look a lot better. <laughs> uh, I don't know if y'all can remember that when we had that nastiness in 2014. Um, but yeah, you know, secondary definitely will benefit some from uh, the front four, man. So with them shoring up that front four and adding the depth that they did, you know, putting them nasty guys together, man, is going to benefit everybody behind them. So it's definitely going to be something fun to watch, a fun experience, man. Um, I'm ready to see my boy carry on, carry that ball. <laughs> him and him and uh, <laughs> him and CJ, man. I'm ready to see them carry that ball, man. Um, but yeah, you know, CJ has also been looking pretty good. So yeah, and also Ty Johnson. Um, and the thing with Ty Johnson, you know, with Theo Reddick being gone, he's not there to catch passes. He is absolutely not there to catch passes, but he's there to be that fourth running back for sure. He'll, he'll be number four, um, unless he just sporadically just pass up Zinner. But the, what, what I've heard about Zinner and what Matt Patricia said out of his own mouth, I don't think he's going to pass up Zinner. I never did, but, um, you know, things happen. Uh, but, yeah, he's definitely not there to catch the ball. That's not the type of offense that Daryl Darryl, Darryl Bevel is trying to run, obviously. Um, you know, the passing out the backfield, catching as many passes as Theo Reddick. Um, never wanted y'all to think that's what I meant. I said he played a part in the decision to get rid of Reddick because Reddick wasn't going to fit in this offense. Uh, Ty Johnson can. Riddick is not going to outrun you on the edge, but Ty Johnson will. And that's what I meant by what I was saying about that. Um, you know, never was saying that he was going to be catching the ball. He's capable, but carry on is probably better than, to me, all of them. <laughs> to me, from what I've seen, uh, you know, not the amount of catches, but from what I've seen, carry on catch the hell out of that ball. Uh, especially, you know, when it comes out the backfield, but they won't be doing that too often. It's just going to be a ground and pound, you know, uh, shove running backs up your behind until it hurts. Those defensive linemen are going to be tired when it comes to the Lions uh, offense. And then we're going to open you up with them tight ends <laughs> and kill you across the middle, man. So, you know, we got our safety blankets like Amadola and things like that, man. It's going to be fun. Once they put all of this together, y'all going to be like, wow, man. It's definitely going to be fun. I've been watching a lot of old games, old film. You know what I'm saying? You can't really put too much into the Seahawks uh, film because, uh, obviously, Russell Wilson and Matthew Stafford are two different people. But um, you want to go back a little bit farther. You want to go back farther. You want to look at, uh, you know, Daryl Bevel when he had gunslingers, you know what I'm saying, in his pocket. Um, so, yeah, man, it's it's definitely going to be something fun to watch, man. Um, and I can't wait. So, shout out to, um, you know, everybody that's been rocking with me, man, and rocking with the Lions, man. Going to training camp. I've been seeing a lot on Facebook and Twitter. So, shout out to everybody for, you know, showing support to this team. Uh, it feels good to be a Lions fan and not have negativity out there. Y'all know how Twitter and Facebook, you know, is and what was 
it's died down tremendously, especially Twitter. I almost all, almost see zero hate on Twitter. Uh, it's like, you know, they find people finally starting to shut up. Um, but you'll have your one or two crazy dudes here and there, but you know, it's enjoyable to be on, on social media social media when it comes to the, the Lions and the Pistons, to be honest. To be honest, the Pistons, uh, you know, their Twitter and Facebook is a little bit different too. So I've definitely been enjoying, man. So, uh, you know, that's all I got for y'all. Let me get my behind the house, get these groceries up for my food rack because it's hot out here. <laughs> so I'll catch y'all guys later, man. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all have heard or, um, you know, what you want to see in, in preseason game one against the Patriots. Uh, who you looking for? What you looking for? Uh, do you think the Lions still got something in their pocket where they still try to make at least one more move or anything? Anything. I'm bored. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs>